This is the plaintiff, Julissa Valerio. She says she purchased a bedroom set of furniture online from the defendant, and when she went to pick it up, it was already wrapped up in moving blankets. Once she got the stuff home, it was damaged. Everything looked great in the online pictures. She was obviously duped and is now suing for the return of the $714.25 she's owed. This is the defendant, Jennifer morales Sapero. She says there was nothing structurally wrong with the used furniture she sold the plaintiff. It was only two years old. She spent two grand on the stuff and sold it for only 600 bucks. The plaintiff got the deal of a lifetime, and she should stop complaining because she bought it without examining it first. She's accused of a furniture foul up. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says she bought some slightly used furniture from the defendant. When she got it home, it was just an absolute mess. Judge, Scratches Maryland. everywhere, broken parts. The defendant saying she got the deal of a lifetime, so go pound sand. It's the case of shelving a customer. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. All right, Ms. Valerio, you were in the market for some used furniture. So yeah. you were looking up on Facebook Marketplace and you saw furniture that she had listed, correct? Yes. All right, you had purchased the furniture how many years earlier? Uh, two years ago. And according to you, it cost how much two years ago? 2000 All right, and you're selling it for how much? 600 600 Now, did you see the furniture? I didn't see it in person. I saw the pictures on Facebook, and I had messaged her, and I asked her if it had any damages, and she said that it didn't have any damages, so I took her word for it. Okay, so, but then you go to the house to pick it up, I go to pick it up, and when I arrived, her son brought the first piece of furniture down, so the guys that were helping me told me to stay with the truck and that they would get the rest of the furniture. Okay. But um, she had already, she stated before I got there that it was already all packaged, so she already had it so wrapped what? up. So why didn't you open it up and look at it and- Well, it was already nice. So, no, 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 that's ridiculous. Why didn't you open it up and look at it because you're buying stuff and you want to know that it is suitable for you. Why wouldn't you open it up and look at it? Like, what? I really am asking you, why didn't you open it up and look at it? Well, in the moment when I was Because you're in the lazy truck, and it was already wrapped up, so no, let's no, just no, keep but it Everything was already packaged up and it was dark in the truck. It was like not easy for me. It was really taped up. Okay, everything I've was moved completely a million times. sealed. You take, a, first of all, when you're moving, you have a box cutter in your hand and you open it up and you look at it and you say, why this isn't what I want, and I, you know, and you don't take it with you. Why would you take it without looking at it? It is, a, it like, it's astonishing to me that you would buy $600 furniture and not look at it because somebody conveniently had a package for you already. In fact, I would find that suspicious because you didn't even know it was packaged. What did you think was gonna happen? Somebody was there with a screwdriver and was gonna take it apart? No, I mean. What did you think you were doing that, that, that night? When you go over there at night, which is when you chose to go, what is it that you thought you were well, going to do? Well, I really wanted to go during the day early on, but she told me to go in the afternoon because that's when they allowed her to. Then she was rushing us because she what told- What time did you go? Um, I got there at five o'clock. So is it, was it still daylight or no? It was already dark. Okay, but why, what was your plan when you got there? Did when you I have a there, screwdriver wanted, to take the wanted, bed apart? How were you gonna bring the thing down? No, I didn't have a screwdriver because obviously it was, she was, I, I assumed it was already taken apart, but she told me prior to was that- Was the dresser that it was already taken packed. apart? No, the dresser was, was gonna have to be taken um, entirely because the drawers didn't come out. I did read that online when I went onto Raymore and Flanagan. And, uh, and, the, and the, you assumed that the bed was gonna be taken? I would assume it wasn't and that I had to take it, but anyway, go ahead. No. Well, yeah, when um, people are selling furniture out of their house, which is what you thought. Well, I had You sold, thought that she was selling the furniture the right out of her was, house. I did sell on Facebook Marketplace a dining set, and I had cleaned this up, taken it apart for the girl when she got there. And that's there. very nice of you, but what and, I'm saying is that when you buy thing, used furniture, and you want to stop like talking me. and listen. When you buy used furniture, you want to have all the details settled beforehand. You don't want to be assuming anything, right? Yeah. Now, as it turns out, this product was not in your house, right? Yeah. You had had this in storage. Now, you only bought it two years ago. Right. So how long was it in storage? Uh, since July. And July. why was it in storage? Because I moved from a three-bedroom to a one-bedroom. Okay. So you had it in storage at that time, and mm -hmm. um, you take it without... Oh, it was already wrapped, but you're just talking about those blankets around it, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So 
were you giving her the blankets because you weren't, I mean, what was going on there? Well, the, the storage company that I hired originally. Gave you those blankets? They, yeah, they wrapped all right, it all so up. So now, mm -hmm. so you get to your home and you, who's the gentleman who's with you? He's just my friend. Okay, so you get to your home and you unwrap stuff and lo and behold, what do you find? Ooh, big surprise, what do you find? Um, I found damages, scratches, dents from, I guess, when they moved it into the storage. What else? Every, every piece of furniture was damaged. Okay. But there was more than nicks and cuts and dents, right? According to you, there was an acetone spill. There was little drops on top of the dresser that looked like acetone spill because it had completely taken the shine the, out. Okay. It looked opaque. Okay. Do you have pictures of that? Yeah. And also there was uh, a pink... It's like, it looked like a neon pink stain at the top of the dresser. Which on the she, top of the dresser? Yeah, and she claimed that that happened in storage. How could but, that happen in storage? I don't know. I had said that that looked like wear. It looked like what? It was just like wear and tear from having it in the home, the damages of having it in the home and not taking care of the furniture. Right, but the pink thing would be an actual spill, right? Yeah. Okay. Like something so what, what am I looking at in this picture? That's, those are the nicks and cuts and whatever. Yeah. That's the picture that she posted in order to sell it, right? Yeah. Okay. This is another picture of it damaged. What's going on here? Something yeah, got whacked off completely? That was completely? a missing piece. I guess it got banged up. Okay. There, the headboard has the scratches on top. Yeah. The nightstand has a yellow stain at the top. The nightstand, ha do I see it in the picture? Um, on my phone, you can see it clear here on this picture, yeah but it's a small spot. Okay. Let me see it on the phone if you... Do you have it on your phone? Yes. To see it on this. this is the pink spot we're talking about. That's something that spilled and got cleaned and stained it anyway. That's the dresser top? Yes. Uh, this is all, what is this blue That's stuff? Nice tape. That's the tape that was on it from the way she packaged it. Well, this is, what am I looking at here? Those are, I guess, the, the side uh, panels for the bed. Yeah, what, what happened? I mean, the storage company damaged a lot of my-, my That's things. a you problem. Right. How is that a, a, a she problem? She didn't pick right. that storage company. Right. So you made a claim against the storage company. I did. Mm -hmm. Right, and they gave you how much? $470. Okay, now here's the thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that, but I don't even need to. Here's the thing, even though I think it's ridiculous that you buy used furniture and don't inspect it before you pay or take it, I do want to try to understand what you're thinking. Welcome back to the People's Court. The plaintiff purchased furniture from the defendant, and when it was delivered, it was still wrapped up in blankets. When she unwrapped it at her home, she noticed all of the damage. The defendant saying, the movers did it. Let's go back into the courtroom. She specifically asked you, mm -hmm. Are there any damages? And you specifically wrote back, no damages. Not, hey, it was used for a year, there may be nicks and cuts, I don't know, take a look at it when you come pick it up. And you didn't say that, which would have protected you. What you actually say, because normally a sale is as is, so you better be looking at it. But you literally tell her there are no damages and there's tons of damages. Mm -hmm. So. You then make a claim against a moving company saying, I didn't give it to you this way, and the moving company settles with you for this reduced amount, but why mm. is that her problem? She didn't buy banged up furniture, she bought no damaged furniture, you see? And so why wouldn't she get her money back under these circumstances? Uh, well, for starters, when she asked about the furniture, I posted it online, she had emailed throughout the night, overnight, um, and okay, you're telling me things seemed, I don't care about because they she don't matter. She seemed pretty urgent to get it. Oh yeah, and she you were in some big she, hurry. You couldn't wait to inspect anything. You wanted to be the first she, one to put your money down. All that's true. Now here's my question because that has nothing to do with my question. I have a very specific question. Mm -hmm. When you tell her there are no damages, mm -hmm. why should she eat all these damages? And I was willing to give her something back. Yeah, but she doesn't want something back. She wants furniture with no damages because that's what she bought. Mm -hmm. Now, let's discuss. Okay. Where is the stuff right now? It's in my living room. In your living room? For how long? Since when? Since I got it from her. Ay, oh, man. All right. Um, I was there are two ways we can go on this. One is, I order her to give you all your money back, it goes away. Another one is, I order her to give you a reasonable estimate of what repairs might cost. Which way do you want to go? Because it's truly your choice. I want my money back. I don't blame you. Now. You, PayPal fees, show me that you paid PayPal fees. 
Why would she pay you the U-Haul rental that you already had anyway? Um, well, I just put that in there since they were all expenses Why don't that you I put incurred. more stuff? Yeah, no. That's, you're entitled to sue for the stuff that she owes you. Um, so she doesn't have to carry your U-Haul rental or your gas, which you were spending anyway. Um, but are there PayPal fees associated with this? That, it shows there is 1770, I believe. But what is that? Uh, it was. Uh, why? Why? I don't. Am I paying PayPal when, fees every time I? If you pay it that way, that they just put it on there. I don't know. I don't understand. I've never. I've used PayPal forever. I don't remember ever paying. It was the face on fa because I guess on Facebook the transaction the way it was made it charged me seventeen seventy. Do you know anything about this? She sent me the money immediately. I didn't even ask her for the money. She just. I don't sent know it. what that means. She just Do you know anything about the $17? No, no, Lady, no. you can't sell stuff, no. say there's no damages, and then have it be complete garbage. And I don't care that the rent, that the, that the, that the mm. moving company gave you 400 or 200. You can't offer a person who thought they were buying for $600, no damaged furniture that is all messed up like this, and then tell her, ah, I'll give you 200 bucks. Because you are foisting on her a contract she never agreed to, which is I'll pay 400 bucks for this stuff. She doesn't want to pay 400 bucks for this stuff. She wants you to pick it up. So pick up the stuff, because that is what I'm ordering you you to do. I'm going to give you two weeks to do it. If she doesn't do it, it's abandoned. Get rid of it. Throw it out. All right. In the meantime, I am ordering you to repay her what she ended up spending on this, which is $617.70. Verdict for the plaintiff. So the plaintiff does get her money back. The defendants have just come out of the courtroom. Are, are you at all surprised by the judge's verdict? No. no. You knew you were going to lose when you came. Well, in. I didn't know, but you know, I mean, there's not much that I can do. Um, the stuff came from storage. I, I mean, when you wrapped it, the furniture I up, I never wrapped it. It came wrapped from storage. They I, wrapped it up. Yep, and I never unwrapped it. So you never actually even looked at it yourself. Nope. Nope. Well, you advertised perfect <laughs> condition, and it wasn't. So yep. you're on the hook for it. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Sorry about that. Okay, Miss Valerio, I think you've learned a lesson. Yes. Of buying things online, right? Yes, I did. What? Not to purchase something without looking at without it first in person. At, yeah. Okay. Well, good for you. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Okay, ducks. Harvey. Be careful what you write in an advertisement. It said no damage. She is stuck as a result.